basically this review is mostly just for people that are going to be using the camera to vlog like I'm doing now and maybe artists or whatever else you do where you were using your smartphone. I was using my Pixel 3 to record me talking like this to explain my art and then I had my smartphone on another tripod pointed towards my iPad and I was just doing art on it. That's it. So if you're using your smartphone because it just takes great video and you have it, um, then this is the, the review for you. It's not for a traveler, anything else. Just that. All right. Enough talking. There's going to be more talking. All right, we're going to do a quick little unboxing of the Sony ZV-1. I just got it. It is June 20th or so. June 22nd, something like that. I don't really keep track of the days anymore. The box didn't come completely sealed, so I'm hoping that this is brand new. It makes me a little nervous that it wasn't like factory sealed. This must be the little wind muff. Little charging wire. Battery. I don't see any marks or anything on the screen. Looks pretty good. Interesting that the screen wasn't closed. I guess it's supposed to be like that. It would have been better to ship it like this, don't you think? Oh well, not a big deal. I actually have no idea. Oh, there we go. I don't like that the touchscreen doesn't work yet. Alright, it is working now. I feel much better. No SD card. That's me. All right, so far so good. All right, so let's see how it films. All right, this is my first uh, proper test of the Sony ZV-1. Um, I just got it today from Amazon. Um, so far, so good. The camera seems to shoot beautifully. The my, I have a few gripes about it, though. First of all, the screen, it's not really touchscreen. It says it's touchscreen, but it's not really touchscreen. Um, and I figured this out because I got it. I flipped the screen over. It's asking me for the date and the time and the Wi-Fi password and all those things. And I'm pressing the screen nothing's happening so the only thing that the screen can be used for is to set focus you know you can tap it and set the focus on something when you're shooting but other than that you have to use the dials and the I mean it's kind of like I feel like it's like 2005 when you're setting up something and you have to roll the so um, yeah that's that alright so Bluetooth so I have this little this little Bluetooth it's gonna go in focus. No, 
yeah I have this little Bluetooth um, controller for uh, I guess it's for smartphones or things like that I haven't been able to pair it with the camera unfortunately I figured that maybe I could just pair it and it would work and I would have a shutter but can't get it to work um, the app unfortunately the smartphone app I tried to connect so I could just do all the functions and hit the record you know use this as a Bluetooth hit record from my smartphone the app is terrible I mean it's a it's abysmal it hardly connects um, and I actually had to restart I had to I had to erase all the data from the app and then restart it and connect again in order to get the camera to work again so that's not really great um, I've had a few Sony cameras before like cyber shots and stuff like that so I'm kind of used to those menus uh, this, these menus are a little confusing but I'm sure it'll take a while for me to get used to so I won't take points off for that but the touchscreen thing that's annoying I saw a bunch of I saw a lot of uh, reviews for this camera um, praising it and you know I, I understand why but n no one mentioned that oh that the screen is a touchscreen but it only works for focus nothing else is touchscreen on it so that's just a little annoying I felt like you know I mean I mean that that's something to consider when you think you have a touchscreen camera because you know touchscreen touchscreen it sounds like a touchscreen but it's not a touchscreen also my lav mic so I have so that's the mic I have and I I, sh I, I was shooting with my pixel it actually comes with a little extra uh, connector um, for DSLRs or cameras like this so I went in the box and I got that out and plugged it in the lav mic works which is great so the only annoying thing now is I don't have an easy way like I have to manually reach up and hit the record button to stop recording because the app is terrible so that's kind of unfortunate I'm gonna to try to download some other uh, Bluetooth apps and hopefully I can just get the I just want to be able to hit record I don't want to spend hundred and thirty dollars for for the uh, the Bluetooth handle because I'm not gonna be walking around with it like I, I literally just got it to vlog here and to do my art stuff like I don't need all that other stuff I just want a Bluetooth thing my little Bluetooth remote doesn't work so I'm a little upset about that and the app is trash so I'm upset about that um, but let's I'm gonna end this here and see and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna upload this to the computer and see how it looks I didn't mean to start recording again unfortunately I can take a picture. All right, well, I gotta say, uh, the footage looks really good. I mean, it's like it's crystal clear. Um, I'm not really a, I'm not really one of those hardcore tech guys. I don't have the most amazing screens. I just have like an old MacBook Pro, um, and you know, I would make my I would make my art vlogs and stuff like that with my Pixel 3. I would use like 4K even though I knew that you know YouTube downgrades it and all that good stuff so I don't know but for me the picture looks great the focus looks excellent um, when I hold stuff up to the screen it just like does a really good job of like focusing in and then going back um, the defocus behind me I think it looks great everything looks really 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 good so I think I'm just going to keep the camera and kind of just give it a go. I think that once I learn it, um, things will be, things will, you know, get a little bit easier, you know, to figure out all the, all the functions and all that stuff. Let's see how it does in warm, if I change it to warm lighting. I'm probably super yellow with that warm lighting, probably too yellow. So yeah, I gotta say it's better than my it's better than holding up a mirror. I would have when I was using my smartphone, I would have to hold up a mirror, and the phone would get too hot, and it's just it just became a lot of hassle. And it was like the phone that I always use, and you know, it was the Pixel Three, it's like my daily phone. So I have to always offload the the files for the storage and all this nonsense. So 
I'm happy I got the camera. I'm gonna give it a little more time. Right now, I have to. I'm gonna give it a three on Amazon because it shoots wonderfully, but it just there's just it's just not the smoothest. So for now, yeah, this is um this is the Dum Dums review of the Sony uh, ZV1, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See, I gotta get used to where the record button is. Okay.